News out of Cleveland County. Brand new video just in from the moment. Deputies in Cleveland County caught a man who they say led them on a chase and shot at them. Now take a look at this photo. This is the man at the center of the manhunt. Jeremy Huffman taken into custody this morning in Shelby. He was on the run since late Wednesday afternoon. Deputies had bloodhounds looking for him. WBTV's Mary Hawkins was the only reporter at the Cleveland County Jail this morning when deputies brought him in. Jeremy Huffman is behind bars here at the Cleveland County Detention Center. Earlier this morning, Cleveland County Sheriff's deputies arrested him after a manhunt that lasted less than 24 hours. This is a photo of Huffman after he was taken into custody Thursday morning. He was taken to the Cleveland County Detention Center to be booked into jail. But this whole situation started north of here in Lincoln County. That's where deputies say they pulled over Huffman for a reportedly stolen car. When deputies approached the car, they say Huffman sped away. Deputies chased him to where highways 18 and 10 cross south to Shelby. They tell us along the way he was shooting at deputies and also shot a school bus. Strikes the bus at least once into the front of the bus. The bus naturally is occupied by the driver and then three occupants inside, which are children. Huffman eventually crashed his car in Shelby and ran away, leaving an injured woman in the passenger seat. She was taken into custody. The search continued into Thursday morning. Law enforcement searched from the ground and from the air. Sheriff's deputies finally caught him between the first Broad River and Days Inn in Shelby. Now, this is not Huffman's first run in with the law. Investigators say he has active warrants both here in North Carolina and in Georgia. Now, I did a search with the Georgia State of Corrections and found he served a little more than eight years of a 20 year sentence for armed robbery. Of course, we will keep you updated in this case. But for now, reporting in Cleveland County, Mary Calkins, WBTV on your side.